from store signs to subway ads, these three little initials are the big buzz in the health and wellness world. It is hot right now. Believers are sold on a dizzying array of over-the-counter products infused with CBD. It's a compound in the cannabis plant that some claim offers therapeutic benefits without the high associated with pot. You're not going to hallucinate. You're not going to feel any euphoria. You're going to feel relief from your pain. It's a miracle drug. Even though the Federal Drug Enforcement Administration says CBD is an illegal substance, there's no enforcement. So products are popping up everywhere, in everything, from over-the-counter oils and lotions to gummies and other sweet goodies. We probably sell 50 times as much as we used to sell. Smoke shops, health food stores, even day spas and <laughs> pharmacies like this one in Cresskill, New Jersey are jumping in to meet the exploding demand, even though CBD prices are steep. I think it works wonderfully without the side effects of a lot of these prescription drugs. I've seen cannabis used for seizure control, for anxiety, for stress, for arthritis. There's this mom who uses a daily dose for her severely autistic son. He's generally, on the whole, a bit calmer. I think it dials down his anxiety and he's more focused. Personally, I don't understand the stigma around it and I'd rather give my son something natural than something that's um, you know, big pharma. We have water bottle. Oh, Let's do it. And this mom of four who suffers from a severe digestive disorder. If I would eat something, two seconds later I'd be running, you know, and that doesn't happen anymore. This plastic surgeon says CBD oil is treating his ulcerative colitis. I have less pain, less sensitivity to it. It's great. Why not use it? And then there's Peggy Gallant, who's gone through more than a dozen back surgeries and swears by this salve. I get severe, severe muscle pain and nerve pain, and this helps both. The problem is the CBD marketplace is a free-for-all with no industry-wide standards. The FDA has only approved one prescription CBD drug, Epidiolex, to treat a form of childhood epilepsy. What's the risk here? The danger is you don't know 100% if what you're getting is what it says on the label because it's not regulated. It might have a different dosage. It might be different ingredients. And beware of bogus claims. We went undercover and ran into one salesman who told us the CBD in his smoke shop is produced by the University of Maryland. Completely false. So if it's from the University of Maryland, it's probably more legit, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's their business development side and research side. And there's very uh, strict requirements because they're affiliated with the university and they're registered with FDA. The FDA has warned a number of companies to stop making misleading claims about CBD. This is uncharted territory, so do your own research and talk to a health professional you trust before you buy it. Back to you.